Hi, welcome to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to show you how to quickly integrate technology into your classroom. I'm Bill Selleck, and today in episode 18, we're going to be looking at shortcuts for web browsers. This is really important because, first of all, sometimes your mouse might not be working, or you can just really type a lot faster when it's just your keyboard. So I'll show you all the tricks to be able to navigate without a mouse or trackpad. And again, just like episode 16 with shortcuts, it's all about efficiency, just working that much faster. So let's jump right into it. All right, the first trick I'm gonna show you is how to get to your address bar. If you push Command L, again, you can see when I hold down Command, that's Command. Command L will automatically highlight your address bar up here. And then you can just start typing. You don't have to push Delete, just start typing and it will autofill. If I hit Enter or Return, takes me right to it. If I want to go to somewhere else with command L, for example, if I know that it's edtechmoment.com slash 2012, if I start typing edtechmoment, it's going to show me all the different links. If I push the right arrow, it'll take me to the end of it, and I can just start typing from there. 2012, and now if I push up and down, it'll go to all those recommended web pages, recommended URLs. Once I'm here, I can change the size of it, plus or minus, but it's Command plus or Command minus. So there's Command plus, making it bigger, Command minus, making it smaller. So if you want to get something to fit on a projector, Command plus or minus is going to help change the size of most assets. If I'm navigating through a website and I want to go backwards, so let me do that a little bit. If I just end up browsing through Google Docs, oh, look at all of those. Let me go to this episode. Now, if I want to go back to episode 17, it's pretty simple. Command, and it's the bracket, square bracket next to P, and that'll take me back in time. If I go back more, it takes me to the main page. If I want to go forward, it's just the right bracket, so it'll take me forward in time or backwards. So the next thing let's take a look at is how to switch between tabs and how to create new tabs. You can see that I have three tabs up here. If I want a new tab, Command T for tab. So Command T, there's my new tab. If I want to switch, I have four open. This is Command 1, Command 2, Command 3, Command 4. So Command 1 will take me to the first tab, 2, Command 3, Command 4. That works in Firefox, and that works in Chrome. If we're looking at Safari, that is a bit different. If I have multiple tabs open, Command 1 doesn't take me to the first tab. It takes me to my first bookmark. This is my fourth bookmark, so Command-4 takes me to my bookmarks. So Safari is way different than Firefox or Chrome. If I want to close these, Command-W will close on just about every single application you have. Command-W closes, Command-Q will quit. Same thing in Firefox and Chrome. Command-W will close each one of these tabs, and you can see it still says Firefox. Q will quit. You can visit us at edtechmoment.com. If you have any feedback for us, you can email us feedback at edtechmoment.com or me, bill, at edtechmoment.com. Definitely follow us on Twitter. You can tweet at us at edtechmoment. Thanks for taking a moment. Mm -hmm.